Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to Rags to Repayment. We have moved lots. If you missed it, I did a two-part build a series uh, on this townhouse. We have finally moved back to Brightchester. This is where we live now. We live in a couple of townhouses. Though, we have a few things that we still need to do. We haven't fully finished their uh, townhouse because I ran out of money. We've got $63 left. We've got a spare bedroom. A few empty rooms, you know, we're not fully detailed in their bedrooms and all that. So we're gonna work on that. Uh, the upstairs and living space is pretty good. I did mention that I wanted to change this though. I was kind of unhappy. I, I, I like the idea of the yellow, but the reason, I, I don't know, maybe it, maybe I do like it coming back to it now. The reason though that I ended, I didn't end up doing, I was I originally had this. I didn't end up doing it though because the wood color running through it didn't really make sense to me with all the other light tones we have. Um, I know that's black, but you know what? Whatever, I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's just leave it. Um, the other thing I did want to do that I totally forgot was I need to add a bedroom for uh, our robot, Mr. Minois. Ms. And which, by the way, I think I still spelled that wrong from last time. Let me check. Uh, how do I check that? I think, because we have the gravestone, right? Hang on. So we did Miss Minois, which apparently is Miss Damenois, not Minois. Right, okay, so I totally had the wrong word anyway. Uh, so how do I change your name again? Can I just do it yourself or do I have to get Bob to do it? All right, so modify, rename, there we go. So it should just be Miss Dame, wait. I don't even know if that's right, hang on. Miss Dame Noir, Miss Dame Noir. Okay, now it's correct. <laughs> Although that one's in all capitals, though I don't think it actually was. I think it's just because it's on the gravestone. Um, right, so that's done. Now, I need to give a bedroom for our robot friend. Now, robots... I, well, actually, what do you even have? You you need to recharge. You have charge. Mm, whenever... Wait, so robots charge themselves whenever they... Wherever they are, they don't need beds. What do, you, what do you need? Do you just go, like, charge? Recharge. Okay. So, what I would like to do is I want to create, like, a robot bedroom, uh, like in Futurama. Well, it's just like a little one by one room that the robot goes into and recharges because I think that would be kind of funny. So that's what I want to do. Um, and you guys actually did like the original doors that I had here. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to change these around. I had originally on this ground floor, I had these like larger two tile doors because I thought it looked kind of cool. And it did look kind of cool as you guys as you guys agreed. So I'll put those back. I think I had them like this. Uh, oh, the kids stuff is now in the way, but that's all right. We'll sort it all out. So we do that, and then should I do the door the other way? Then hang on, the other way. Then the glass is sort of there, and we can probably keep some of this stuff. Put the light there. I don't even know why there's a little table here. There just was, and the potty's there. Cool. All right, so that'll go like that. Now the robot bedroom. Um, it's kind of hard to find a spot. Well, it's not that hard to find a spot for it. We could just do it here. Maybe what we do is we do this. We should we change the stairs to not be those ones? Because uh, we could change them to these. Because then we can have a bottom on it and then it would probably blend in a little bit better. Now let's delete those. Because I would like to add a base to the stairs. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So then we can just add bricks onto it. And then we can add this door. Hang on, I'm going to... Oh, we're going to have a lot of doors here. Uh, okay, well... I guess... Oh, there's, a, there's a lot of door action in this little area. Um... I guess that'll be fine. So the robot can go in. I don't even know if it can get, can get in there, but that's the robot's bedroom. There you go. Um, nice. So that's where the robot will sleep. And then uh, I just need to do some banisters on the stairs. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So let's go back to live mode here. So robot, I'm going to get you to go. Can I get you to go here? Go here. Hopefully it will actually work. Bob, this is your room. So I'm going to assign right side to you. Trash, this is your room, so I'll also assign it right side to you. And then I don't think I'm going to need to assign the bed to you, but uh, nope, I don't need to, so that's fine. But that's your room there. So that's good. All right, so you're hovering to your place. Now we have, if you didn't see the build videos, we have the whole other set of townhouse uh, next door. It's actually two uh, individual apartments. Uh, if you want a more you know, detailed tour, uh, make sure to check out those other videos. But we can get up to six roommates uh, in this build. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. Trying to, trying to be doing, uh, which actually I was told word on the street is you can actually ask Grim to be your roommate and it actually works. I don't know that we're going to, the thing is we need to get him here, which I don't know that we can do. Uh, let me see if I can send a floaty text. Maybe like invite me somewhere. 
Now you can just go um, go play blocks or something, go study shapes. Bob, uh, we will get Elsa over though. Let's invite Elsa because we'll get Elsa as a roommate. That's uh, that's definitely a good idea. Um, yeah, so like I said, we... Oh, oh, damn it. I forgot to tell you to stop. Hang on. No, you're going to use all your energy, you noob. No, go here. Hang on. I got to I gotta pay attention to the robot. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Like flying and so... Elsa is sleeping. Okay, it is like 1230. But no one else... No one's tired. Like everyone's... Wide awake. All right, I'll start in a second. All right. So, oh, you just flew outside. So you go in here. Okay, yeah, stop. And then I say servo recharge, right here. This is your bedroom, and power down, and pa power, power down, pa power down. There you go. Pa and there you go. All right. So recharge in there. That's the. Ro that, I wish there was a way that I could tell it. That's where I wanted to always be, but that's not a thing. All right. So Bob. Uh, you got work in two days. You got to have another two breakthroughs. We do need to see if all this lab stuff works. So I haven't fully play tested this yet. So I'm going to get you if I could actually get a go here action to appear to go here. And then we have the garden here, which is apparently missing some plants. It might have popped them into our inventory. Yeah, it did. So I'll put those back. We also have the cloning machine, which I haven't put down yet because I didn't really know where to put it. We don't actually have a bunch of space. A lot of you guys are suggesting that we just expand over onto the rooftop of the uh, the neighbors and just use their roof, but I don't know that I want to do that. I, I would, I kind of, I mean, we've got a whole spare bedroom right now, so let's just use this for now, uh, for the cloning machine. And then these, where did these come from? Were these in your room? I'm not actually sure where these popped from. Uh, I'll put them here. They might have been in there, I don't remember. Anyway, they go there. We got a little bit of money, which is nice. Uh, we do obviously have a bunch of, well, I'm going to assume we still have Ambrosia, right? We do have an Ambrosia, which is good. So I'm going to get you to go clone that. You're here playing with blocks. That's good. You just do that. You go do your cloning. We'll have to get roommates tomorrow then because right now we can't get them because it's too late. And we potentially have to kill someone to get the Grim Reaper to come by. I'm not sure. Although I'm hoping that he like asks her to hang out or something. I don't know that he will, but we'll see. Anyway, so we go like that. Actually, Bob, how are you going? So he's up here now. Can I get you to brainstorm? Will this, will this at least work? I just don't, I'm not. I'm definitely not convinced with this garden. Uh, so we'll have to sort that out. This looks like it's fine, which is great. So that means we can use his like indoor loft lab, which I think looks like so, so cool. I love this space. It's awesome. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, back to you though. Uh, I need you to grab this. Uh, so just take that and just do another clone. Oh yeah, I mean, it's always good just to have spare ambrosias anyway. So the more we can get, the better. Okay, we got a, we got a matter cube. We should also probably just clear out their inventories because there is a lot of junk in here that we really don't need. Uh, let's just get a couple of these because this will give us a bit of extra cash. A bit of a cash injection here. There we go. And the other one. There you go. So now we got a little bit of money, which is nice. That's our money room. Um, parts are created. Okay. Now trash. What do you got to do? You just got work in 13 hours. You don't really have to do anything. Do you want to go like talk to your your nephew, uh, Brighton Day, and and. I don't know, watch. Sure. Eureka! Uh, an idea for a Euroflux wormhole generator. Click on the notebook button at the top. Okay, cool. Great. Uh, well, we'll keep... Um, I, I want to keep him in the uh, the the scientist career because I know that we were doing education and all that kind of stuff, but I kind of want to still be in this because if we get up high enough level, I think you guys are saying seven or eight. I, mean, I can't remember. But then we can upgrade the cloning machine to be able to clone Sims. And I think that's just going to be fun, and we should just do that anyway. Because um, then if someone dies, maybe... We, <laughs> can we just clone someone and then kill their original? Is that something we can do? Because <laughs> I, I would totally do that. Alright, so we've got... Uh, he's just doing a little breakthrough. He wants to play ping pong. How are you going? You still in your little robot closet? Yeah. I do actually want to lock... Can I lock these? Lock door for... Um, I'm just gonna, for now, I'm just going to say everyone because I don't want anyone going in here. Locked door for everyone. But when we get roommates, we'll have to sort that out and hopefully we can make it work. I should probably do auto lights over here though. Uh, oh, no, no, no. No, turn on all lights. Hang on. All right. Well, let, let me auto light the bedrooms then because otherwise it's going to be annoying. All right. This room and then I'm going to go auto light this room. And, and I'll do more furnishing and stuff, probably, I guess, maybe like between parts, because the furnishing process is a whole thing, so I don't know. Anyway, how are you guys going? Do you need like a bath or anything? Probably not, but I'm going to give you a bath anyway. Give Amber as a bubble bath. There you go. You're all still up here brainstorming. We're kind of just waiting until the morning here. 
You got work in two days. You have an 11 hours. So that's fine. Um, parts career. We're just acquiring parts, apparently. This robot is doing... Oh, you need maintenance or something? So how do I do this? Durability can be increased by having a sim with robotic skill give a server a tune-up. Servers can also tune themselves up when they re uh, reach a level... Uh, enhancement level 3. Okay. Well, I'm going to need you to go here. So come up here. And I'll get Bob to work on you. Just to make sure your durability is good. He's busy doing this anyway, so that's fine. Has he, is he getting another breakthrough here? I don't even know. Let's just stop, and then I'm going to get you to go onto this guy and say, uh, Servo, tune up. Let's do a little bit of that. Yeah, I know, you're a little... Okay, we don't have enough room. No, 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 don't, don't. No, don't bike there. Go here, hang on. Hmm. It seems we've moved out of a tiny house, but we still have the troubles of a tiny house. Can I get you to like... No, 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 dude! Stop! Oh, that's the wrong person. Hang on. No, no. Alright, let's go down here. <laughs> go, go here. Bob, go here. Alright. Why do you even need to go on the stairs? Okay, Bob, why are you not moving? I don't understand. Okay. Uh, reset, please. I think he was waiting for the kid to get to the top of the stairs before the game could figure out what he needed to do. Alright, go tune up. Please. Thanks, man. Down you go. Down the stairs, and what are you doing? How did you get up here? When you're supposed to be a bubble bath, did you already have it? Oh yeah, I guess you did. Now you're tired. Why did you come all the way up here if you're tired, dude? All right, trash. Um, you would like to... What do you actually want to do? Launch or upgrade five, uh, a rocket five times. Okay, well, can we upgrade this? Upgrade. Yeah, all right, go do the landing computer. Might as well. Uh, oh, can you even get to it? You might not be able to. It might be too cramped. We'll see. All right, so he's doing the tune-up, which is good. You're coming down. She's still able to go up past that, which is good. Okay, so it looks like she's able to get to the roof, but I guess maybe she couldn't upgrade the rocket where it is? Hmm, okay. What if I... See, that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. I'm wondering, is it this, though? Because it seems to... Like, the footprint seems to be fine. But I'm wondering if she has to walk around the side, which is kind of a... Kind of a yeah. That's a little bit of a letdown. We're going to need more room. I guess I could just... Whoa! I've reduced the size of the roof over here. Which is a shame, but that will give us more room. It, it does kind of ruin the look of the house from the front. If we bring this up a little bit, maybe it's fine. I mean, okay, well, talking about ruining the look of the house from the front, it does have a rocket coming out the top of it, so, you know, whatever. We could just make a flat roof. <laughs> All right, how about now? If that doesn't work, then I don't know what, what, what's what. All right, upgrade. There you go. There you go, plenty of room. Yeah, okay, so she needed to get to the side. You know, I'm wondering if we just rotated it then. Because, although, I think they might need to get to the front to go into the, into the air. How are you guys going? Bob, I'm actually going to need you to make some food, because... I feel like we don't... Oh, we do still have leftovers. Never mind. Although, do serve breakfast again. Do, um... Uh... Let's do... Let's do a gourmet meal. Let's do the highest skilled gourmet meal. Baked... Well, that doesn't seem like it'd be that healthy. Monte Cristo. Trout. Let's do that. There you go. Now, what are you up to? You are... Uh, you were supposed to be going to bed, as far as I'm aware. So I'm going to say go to sleep. You do have a little monster light, so you should be fine. Uh, that should be good. Actually, when do you grow up? Uh, you have another three days. We were sort of working on the skills. I don't know that we're going to get it up to level five everywhere, but, you know, whatever. Um, all right, so Bob, you've given up on that, which is interesting. I'm not sure why. He's back at it. You're sad because of the holiday, but you're still upgrading, so that's fine. Okay, so everyone's doing what they should be. I mean, you, actually, I'm going to get you. Can you go just do some robotics? Because you guys were saying that we should get our robot to just make a bunch of materials. Oh, we need robot salvage parts. I guess Tinker. Um, because apparently he can just keep going and then they won't get... They, they don't get zapped. In fact, if they get zapped, they just get more energy. So then they don't even need a recharge, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, so you do that and get some get some skills there. That'll be helpful. All right, you're doing some cooking. That's great. In this beautiful kitchen. Look at this. What a stunning piece of architecture. I wonder who built this, because it just looks great. Look at that. Oh, wouldn't you die to have breakfast there? It's beautiful. I think the only thing, and I mentioned this in the build video, so I wasn't entirely sure about these windows from the exterior, but from the interior, they look really good. The only reason I, I wasn't sure about them is because you've got this sort of curved roof that's very boxy on the side. 
Because, like, these ones don't even have windows there. But I put them there just because we have spaces that kind of, like, why not, you know? I don't know. Anyway, so he's having something to eat. I don't even think he needs to, so you probably should stop eating. And then go clean that up, please. You don't need that. All good. We've got the laundry over there. It's already going. Now, Bob, I'm going to get you to call Elsa over because we need to start getting some roommates here. We need to start getting them to help pay the bills. So everyone that we accidentally offed, invite to hang out. Well, not everyone, because we're going to have six people. And I, again, like I said, ideally, I would love to get Grim living with us, because apparently that is possible. Um, but I just don't... What's the best way to do it? Maybe if we clone someone, then off them, Grim will come. All right, so Elsa's coming over against her better judgment for some reason. I right, go here and then go. let's go say... Um, uh, I don't know, Brighton Day, sure. And then, uh, can I just ask you a roommate? Ask to be a new roommate? Let's just do that. And then we'll have to assign her a bed in the other apartment and we'll have to sort out all the door locks. I, I saw a few comments suggesting a good way we can do it, so we'll try it out. Hey, well, welcome. You want to be a roommate? Sweet. It's going to be epic. Epic. Yeah? Okay, hurry up. Emotional control minus. I don't know why you'd get un You're an adult. Thanks for the offer, but I already have a home. Oh, yeah, we moved them into a house. Hang on. All right, we're going to move them out. <laughs> I forgot that we moved them all into that one house, so I guess they won't want to be roommates if they're living there. So I guess we've got to kick them out and then ask her again. Hopefully she'll stay here if I go to the map and move them. Oh, Elsa's gone. Okay, well, I came back and she's gone. So let's invite her over again. Hey, Elsa, I know you were just here and you just got evicted from your house, but, like, do you want to come over again? Um, that'd be great, because I do actually need to... Oh, good, she's coming over. <laughs> Alright, just... No, 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 don't. Just, just wait, Bob. Hello? Oh, there she is. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you want to move in? That's so funny, you just got kicked out of where you live. Also, this guitar is still here from, like, forever ago. Hey, what's up? You want to you wanna move in? Yeah? Sorry, but I've got others in my house that depend on me right now. I didn't realize I also had to break up the entire household. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Where are you? Hello. Hello. Um, my, uh, all households. They are played. Not in... Oh, hang on. All. None. Not in world. Uh, played. Here we go. All right. All of you. Wait. So you're saying I have to split all of you guys into individual households? Well, not all of you. Only the ones I want, I guess. So Elsa can go there. She can have... 5,000 bucks. There you go. I don't No one else. Who's this? I, I don't know who any of these other people are. There we go. All right. So you can go there. <laughs> this is so dumb. All right. Then who else do we want? We need we need like six people. One of them's grim. So we'll, we'll get you. You're pretty cool. I've always liked you. So let's create a new household. Off you go. Uh, five grand. Uh, who else do we want? I like... I don't even know who half these people are. I do like you, though. You're pretty cool. Create a new household. You're, you're coming. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hello? This guy. You're in. Here you go. Uh, I don't know how much money you people have, but I'm just taking five grand every time, hoping that it'll be fine. There you go. And then... So that's four. And then we'll get a fifth. And then the sixth is going to be grim. I don't know how we're going to get him, but we're going to do it. And who do I want? Sunglasses lady? Yeah, sunglasses lady, you're in. Just because you have sunglasses. There you go. That's, you win. Okay, cool. All right, so you guys are the ones we want. Uh, Fritz, Mullen, Bolin, Tilo, and Harrington. And Reaper. But we have to do that separately. Hey, Elsa. So now that we've done all that, uh, are you sure you don't want to move in? Um, are, are, you, are you really sure now? Yes, I'm so excited to move in as soon as you... <laughs> As soon as your new roommate. If you clear some space around my bed, I'll have somewhere to put my things. Okay, Elsa, this is going to be your room, as all you guys suggested. Hopefully, I mean, it says clear some space. Oh, actually, you guys also suggested that it didn't technically work with double beds. I don't know if they fixed that, but I mean, I've assigned it now. Although, hang on, it doesn't actually say it's assigned. Because it would, it, it should say, like, on my bed, if you hover, it says it's assigned. So just because I'm paused, let me unpause. Might also be because it's locked. Hang on, let me unlock. Okay, I also need to lock this door. So lock door. No, lock for a specific sim. I think that's what you guys suggested we do, is lock up for specific people. So then she can't get in there. And then if we lock these doors specifically for my sims, so we're going to say, well, unlock this door. And actually, I'm going to keep that bottom door locked because we're going to use the top apartment to start off with. Then we're going to say this door, lock for a specific sim, uh, trash, 
Ambrose, Mr. Meanwhile, and I guess I have to swap Sims to lock it for Bob, and for Bob. Okay, so that means that door is specifically locked for m all my Sims, but not for Elsa, and she can get in there. And then this door is locked for Elsa. No, this, this door. No, that door is locked for everyone. This door is locked for Elsa. <laughs> I'm so confused. Did I lock this door? Uh, unlock. I think so. Okay, yeah, that's definitely locked for else. Okay, so she's locked out of that house. She can get into this house. We can't get into that house. Hopefully that'll work. And then hopefully she's actually going to be assigned to this bed. Though I don't know that that is working. We might have to go single beds, which is kind of annoying because it's kind of dumb. Uh, I'm just going to test it. So if we get rid of that bed, let's just change over to, let's give her, let's give her like a nice single bed at least. Like energy eight, that's pretty good. It's a shame that it's going to look kind of dumb. Being like, like, why would you have this single bed? I don't know. Anyway, let's give her a, sure, that one there. We can give her a better sized um, side table then, I guess. So let's do that. Let's get this guy, maybe? No, let's get a nicer one. Let's give her like this, just uni sort of looking one. And give it a nice little, mm. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe this one? Nice matching kind of color. There you go. Lovely. All right, now let's try that. So if we say assign bed to uh, Elsa. Mm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, maybe I don't think, maybe double beds don't work. That's what you guys were saying. So I'm, I'm curious. So she's standing at the door. She's not doing anything. She can go in though. There you go. Is this, is this set as my front door, by the way? It is. Okay, so she's going... Through the wrong house, right? Okay, so she's gone into the wrong house. So I forgot to lock the other door. So we'll have to wait for her to leave so we can lock this. She's not supposed to be in this apartment. Um, great. So I guess while I'm at it, I'm gonna say lock this door. All right. So both of these doors are locked for specifically my Sims and this one for Elsa as well. I'll lock this one for Elsa as well when she leaves, because she's in the wrong apartment right now, which is kind of annoying. But whatever. She'll she'll leave eventually. Uh, is that room auto lighted? I thought I did it, but I guess she's not actually sleeping, so probably not going to turn off. Why is everyone- wait, why are you sad? Oh, from the holiday, right? I was like, why is everyone sad? How are you going up here? You good? I need you to keep brainstorming because you actually need another breakthrough. I'm pretty excited though. We got- we got Elsa. We got our first roommate. Um, I guess we're gonna need to let Bob or someone into- because the, the idea is that Bob and Elsa are gonna have a relationship. Which I guess I'm gonna have to unlock the door for one of them at some point so we can get through. Maybe we could build a, oh, we should build a secret passageway. Because our room is on the top. I wonder if we could do like a rooftop passageway. <laughs> Somehow like sneak in. Man, I wish we had ladders. Is there, there's, there's like ladder mods, right? Because we could like have a sneaky like ladder in the in the chimney that goes down into our room. That'd be sick. I don't know if we could, uh, we might be able to use this. Hang on. What if we did like, what if, what if we moved this? Yeah, let me get some walls. What if I had some walls that went like this? Okay. Okay, like this, right? Now, obviously, the roof goes over it, but what if I made the roof hot? Oh, 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 okay, too high. What if I bring the roof down and bring it up a little bit? Then we go shift, oops, daisies. No, 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 not that. Shift C. Oh, no, no, we already had shift C. Bring it up so we have enough curve to cover it. So now it's covered. It's not quite enough, though. It needs to go like a smidge higher. There we go. Look at that, it's totally incognito. Because now this is actually a whole usable room. Um, it's kind of annoying though, because the roof is in the way most of the times. But, okay, can I? Okay, maybe maybe the roof thing was not a good idea. <laughs> well, it is a good idea. It, it's a good idea, okay? Just deal with it. All right, no, but if we do it in two different parts, it'll be easier. So if we do it like this, and then go meet it to the rooftop, and then do it the other side as well. It's just gonna it's gonna be easier to work with. So we do this, bring it in. Now, it, obviously, all the curves are completely different now, and it doesn't technically make sense, but it's gonna work for what I want it to do. And then I can just do this. So instead of doing a roof on top, there you go, beautiful. That'll work. I think it gives us the illusion uh, of a rooftop, but it gives us a secret passageway to work with. Oh, the chimney fell down. That will stay up here. Oops. That will stay there. And then that can actually still be brick. My bad. Sorry guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Not that we have a chimney in either of these builds, but sorry guys, didn't mean to do that. All right, so then we're gonna open this up. Open this up. And then, uh, I guess maybe, well, she needs to get to that side. So, oh, hang on, how do we, hmm. Oh, if I just rotate it. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> just rotate it, put it there, that should be fine. Then we can get a door there. 
All right, so then this will allow us to have a rooftop doorway that is going to be a secret access. Oh, yeah, like a nice big old wooden door. Sweet. Like that. It's like back there. Goes in here. Like that. Has all these wooden floorboards. Can we? How are we going to do this? Because we need to enter her room. <laughs> it's not creepy, I swear. It's a relationship thing. Oh, fine. Let's not do it yet. Let's wait till they actually have a relationship. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Though we do have a cool rooftop hideout now. Uh, for now, we could use that as a sweet secret room. I need a three wide window here, or just this. That'll work. There you go. Little little thing there. Uh, we got a secret rooftop room. Uh, this build is pretty sweet. The weather machine. I wonder if I can fit this back up here now. Not really. Unless this goes, no. Hmm. I'm sure there's definitely a way to do it if I move that planter. Actually, what if I move the planter over here? Is that a room I can copy? Yeah. I just do this. It obviously like sort of intersects here a little bit, which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. And then that will go to there. And then, all right, so now that's moved over there. Then I just remove this one. Just delete that, right? And then I hope they can just slide that out. Okay, good. I mean, the wall is slightly off, but that's fine. That's fine. We can fix that. It's an easy fix. And it repaints all of it. Of course it does. There you go. Now we have a bit more space over here to fit this guy in, which is still technically a little bit bigger than, you know, this area. But I think you can just slide it there and it should be able to walk past. Cool. All right. So we have uh, an attic up here, oh, which isn't quite painted and it's kind of annoying me now. Hang on. I want to paint the attic wall. Please? There. Yeah, that one. Even though you can barely see it, sometimes you can see it, and that's annoying. All right, cool. So that's that. Uh, so we have that. Uh, we have that available for the future. <laughs> As a way for the <laughs> apparently now creepy-ass landlord to get in. It wasn't intended that way. It was supposed to be a nice romantic, like, Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. A forbidden love between landlord and tenant. Uh, also, that door just got glitched out. And Elsa vanished, which is actually good because we do need to lock that door for Elsa. All right, cool. So that's good. Uh, fix that door. Let's go down here. So now what I'm going to say is lock specifically for Elsa. So she can't go in that door either. Cool. All right. So then she can only go up to her apartment, which is nice. Hopefully it works. Also, we still have the minor issue of the laundry because uh, all the roommates are going to need to have their laundry done as well, which is a slight issue. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that as we come. All right, so Bob uh, is, are you supposed to, you're supposed to be bringing something. I think I might have messed it up. You're still tinkering around and just doing stuff, which is good. Uh, your charge is dropping though, so that is a slight issue. Set the table, don't set the table, what the hell, man? Uh, you can actually just, I guess, recharge. You can do that. Two salvage parts, great. Ambrose is having to sleep. All right, so we need to get the other people to move in as well. Um, I might go and, why do you always want to go? You can't even get to the ping pong table. Stop trying to play ping pong. I'm gonna have to delete that table if that becomes a problem, because honestly, I just can't. Can't even. Can we get the second breakthrough? I don't think he's in the mood to get it. I'm gonna get you to go here, and we're gonna invite over the next roommate. Come on down! You, and also Kennedy, and also... Who else do we have? Samantha and Zachary. So those four, for sure. Yeah, because that, that'll be everyone, right? I think that's everyone. All right, hey guys, do you want to come over and join the sweet roommate party? Hey man, I like you. I like you. Get up. Welcome. Roommate, ask to be new roommate. Hey man. Kennedy will be over. Yeah, yeah hold up. I, gotta, I just got to ask you all to be my roommate as well. Oh, hang on. Okay. Okay, you're just doing too many calls at the moment. Okay, so Zachary will be over. Maybe I should have done this one though. Hey, 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 hey. I can't go in there. No, 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 no. Uh no, damn it. Are you in? Yes, I'm excited. Okay, great. You're in. Uh you roommate asked to be new roommate. Uh oh. Roommate's party. Okay, so here's the problem with specifically locking sims. Okay, so what I need to do is lock my doors for my household. So everyone but my household cannot come in. And then the other ones I do the specific locks. I think. Because now the roommates are just going in there, which is a problem. Alright, you're going to be my roommate anyway. We'll figure that bit out in a minute. Alright, so you're in. Now I need to get you in as well. Roommate. Asked to be new roommate. 
Hey, Zach. Okay. Oh, God. They're, why are they throwing a party? You just moved in. Also, where did you go? I need you to come. Hello? Where, oh, there he is. He's all the way up here on the bloody computer. Dude. I can't, I can't even get in there. I think I'm going to have to redo all the door locks. Oh, they're all going in my house. It's so annoying. Is he going to come down to me? Is that what? Yeah, he's coming down. Okay, good. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because I can't go in there. Uh, roommate, ask to be new room. I'm going to have to reset these door locks. It's, it's gone haywire. It's just gone haywire. All right, come on. Okay. So, let's go unlock and unlock. And I'm going to say lock for everyone but household members. Lock for everyone but household members. Now, the reason we don't want to just lock for everyone but roommates on here is because roommates will have their friends over. And if their friends can't get in there, then they'll just be stuck outside. So we still want them to be able to do that. That's why we want to do the specific locks. So I'm going to unlock these. Uh, make sure these are all unlocked. I'm going to redo them. So who is in here already? So you're in here. Are you just a roommate's friend? Uh, roommate's party. That's fine. So Zachary has claimed this apartment. So he's going to be in here just because he's already in there. You kind of already did as well. So you'll live in there with Elsa. So you, Elsa, and Zachary will be in that one because you're just already in there. And it's going to... Oh, all these... Why did all these windows get messed up? When I was messing with the roof, it's all just sort of goofed up. That's right, we'll fix it. All right, so I'm going to go through and lock these doors. All right, so I've reset the locks. We also still... So we've only got four roommates at the moment, I think. Because um, we've got... So Elsa, we've got Kennedy, we've got new new hair, new hair, uh, I don't know. Uh, and then Zachary. So that's fine. So we also need to get in um, Samantha. I think it was, I don't know, Samantha Fritz. Fritzy! Let's get Fritzy in here. And right over. Uh, okay, that door's locked. So you're going to be stuck in there now, which is just fantastic. Can I, like, just reset? Like, can I? Can I? Where did she go? Hmm, that's kind of alarming. I reset her, but I don't know where she went. Hello? Oh, she's up here. And there's a bunch of these people. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a problem. I guess we're going to have to unlock this door and just, like, let everyone filter out eventually, which is really annoying but all right anyway let's get fritzy over here all right fritz hello hello fritz uh yeah i haven't also i haven't done any of your beds yet so that's the other problem roommate asked to be new roommate let's go do that let's um okay hopefully that still goes ahead i guess i'm gonna have to change all the beds to the single beds because that's kind of annoying that is kind of that's kind of annoying that it doesn't seem to work with the double beds maybe it does but you guys have said it doesn't and it didn't seem to assign them properly so I don't know. Anyway, there's a blue bed for you. And this room over here can have this one. I mean, they're pretty pretty good beds. Like, they're not getting gypped or anything. There you go. Uh, and then you can have that one. And then down here, we're going to replace these three uh, with uh, this. Oh, that's a wardrobe built in right there. Single bed there. And then you can have... I mean, look at these beds they're getting. It's pretty impressive. Single, whoops, single bed there. And you can have a jungle adventure one because that's pretty cool. There you go. These rooms uh, in this apartment are much less decorated than the other ones, but whatever. All right, so those are the beds. Um, and I believe I have locked the specific doors for the specific sims. So I think you should be able to go in here. Uh, unlock for specific sim. So those are the people that's currently locked for, including Bob. I think he's just assigned separately. Maybe I should double check that. It gets really confusing because i got a lot of doors here. Uh, lock for specific sim. Yeah, okay, so... Elsa and you are allowed in. Hang on, but then, hang on. Unlock for specific Sam. Zachary should be allowed. Where's Zachary? Why can't he get in here? He's a roommate, or is he not a roommate? I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that bed is definitely assigned. Okay, that's assigned to Elsa. This one can be assigned to New Hair. Um, yeah, Zachary's not in here for some reason. So you're there. Maybe he's not our roommate at the moment. Did I not ask him yet? I guess not. Anyway, we're asking Samantha, please. Bob really needs to pee, but I don't have time. I got this whole roommate business, okay? This is important. And then I need to go, um, roommate, ask to be a new roommate. Are you, wait, I think she just gave up and didn't become a roommate. Do you want to be my roommate? Hello, what's going on? Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, you're a roommate, and then you need to be a roommate as well. Okay, are you, okay, great. Okay, so now I gotta do the doors again. <laughs> wait, why isn't some... Okay, so it said she moved in, but I don't know that she did. All right, so let's go assign bed. 
Yeah, she's not in this list, so that's kind of a problem. So assign bed over here. This can be um, Kennedy. Because it should be Kennedy and Samantha in this apartment, but she's for some reason not moved in, even though she has. And then we've got, who have we got here? We've got Zachary, Elsa, and Newhair. All right, so they've all been assigned. That's fantastic. And then Kennedy should be down here now. Hello? Or not? Kennedy? Yep. And then has Samantha moved in yet? Doesn't seem to have worked with her. I also don't know where she went. So Bob's going to the toilet. And also, everyone's still in my house. It's really frustrating. You're off to work. Okay. Bob, go to the toilet. This is just so stress. This is so much more stressful than I thought it was going to be, just to get people to move in. All right. So they all seem like they're out of my apartment now. Are they have they all left? Because I'm going to lock my apartment if they have. I think they're all gone now. All right. So let's go here and lock uh, door for everyone but household members. All right, that should stop all the stupid roommates coming in here. They can all go in this place. They're all morphing together over there as well. Bob had a breakthrough on the toilet, which is just fantastic. Um, all right, go here. Let's invite you over again, because I don't think hers went through for some reason. If we get her, that means we have five roommates, which is fantastic. Um, and then, yep, so you're right over. You're definitely not a roommate right now. Roommate, ask to be a new roommate. Even though it said that she was, it seems like it didn't process it properly. Let's do that. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, let's try again. So now we should be able to say lock, ooh, lock for specific sim. No, she's still not there. Where is she? Hello? Are you my roommate or not? Okay, the interaction is finished. Maybe I just have to wait. Uh, all right. Lock for specific sim. Nope, still not there. Hmm. I don't know why she is not appearing in my roommates. Are you are you a roommate? No, you've you've just disappeared again. Um, if you clear some space around my bed, I'll have somewhere to put my things. Yeah, so it, she's not like it's not like she's saying I don't have enough space. It's just she's not moving in. Oh hey, welcome again. Um, do you want to be my roommate? Hey, want to be my roommate? Hi, roommate, please. Yep. Yeah. You want to be my roommate, <laughs> please? Dude, you're ruining my plans. You're in my sweet roommate. Look at this. They have. A, they're living their lives. And ah, uh, oh, look. They're all, this apartment's come alive. This one's just dead though, because no one's here. Oh, actually, okay. She's appeared now. I think it might have worked. Okay, so now we go here. Lock for specific sim. Lock her out of that one. Good. That means she can come down here and she can have this bed. Signed to Samantha. Great. So now we have Kennedy, Samantha. Zachary, Elsa, and Newhair, all living as roommates. Whew, okay. So I think that's all locked appropriately. So it's keeping my sims out of that building. It's keeping all those sims in their specific apartments. And it's keeping them out of my apartment. And I can't go in there. So that should hopefully now work. Do we need to go do laundry? Do laundry, add to washing machine, because we might be filling up a little bit. The toddler, in, mean, in the meanwhile, is dying. So there's that. Yep, Ambrose is getting hungry. It's okay. We just had things to take care of. All right, there's just things in the meantime that we had to do. So grab a serving. You're fine. Do eat ambrosia? No! Just because your name is Ambrose doesn't mean you can eat ambrosia. Oh, wait. What would happen if a toddler ate ambrosia? Would it make them go back to being... Like, oh, that's actually kind of interesting. I don't want him to eat that, because that'd be really annoying. Oh, wait, you're in my apartment. Oh. Okay, I need to unlock for a specific sim. Oh, dear. All right, unlock for a specific sim. Kennedy is allowed to pass through that door just for now until you get out of my house. Kennedy's a pile of trash. Good. Uh, what's going on in this room? Is that there's two sims in one room? I don't like this. I shouldn't have done the radio combo. They're all just in there dancing. Don't, didn't I do a radio downstairs? Oh no, I think I tried to, but it didn't fit. <laughs> Alright, Kennedy, can you get out of my apartment, please? Can I ask you to leave? I don't think I can, that's the thing. Like, I'd have to just like go here and then try to talk to her. Go here. What if I say go here? And then, so are you eating? Yeah, you're good. Then you just need to go poop. So go do a poop. And then can I get you, can you call her over? Or is that too, no, she's too far away? Debate about aliens. Aliens aren't real. Don't look at my child, please. Okay, come. Oh, she's not coming to. Dude, teach about writing. No, no, no. Don't go to her. 
All right, we're just gonna have to wait for the natural course of time to progress for her to leave. You go to sleep, you're kind of tired. Uh, you are uh, needing to go poop, which I already told you to go. Wait, could you not? Oh, okay. It doesn't work then. That's why we got a play test. Uh, how about that? And go potty. And Bob teleported down here. And you need to go to sleep. So there you go. Uh, wait, can you? No! What are you doing? What the hell, man? How can you still not get to it? It's right there, dude. There's not- I'm not- wait, am I using move objects? Oh, I was. Okay, well, alright, well, fair enough. Oh, that one- that one's on me. Alright, that's not using move objects. Let's just see if it works at least. Can you use it? Yeah, okay, well, I guess that was- <laughs> I guess that was blocking it. Oops! Oopsies! <laughs> Oh, it still needs to pop a little bit anyway, so that's fine. So you're at work, you should be working hard. You are, that's great. All my roommates are hanging out. I mean, Kennedy's still here, which is kind of annoying. Can I, hey, Miss Miss Dame, Miss Dame Noir, which apparently is your name now. Can you go chat here? Yeah, good, chat here. That'll, that'll move her out, and then we can lock the door again. Excuse me, we're chatting here. Good. <laughs> good. All right, now, let's port. Oh, where are you going? You better be leaving. Locked off for everyone but household members. You better not be going down there. Okay, no, she's she's off. She's off. She's just going over there. Oh, whoa! She was thinking about Bob. Did you see that? She walked up to his window and she's like, Oh, oh, <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Bob is taken by no one except for pollination technician number three that gave birth to Ambrose. And he has a thing for Elsa. Except he actually doesn't. He has more of a thing for Santa than he does for Elsa. But that's the story that you guys wanted to see, so... <laughs> um, alright. Good, you, you do whatever you want, I don't know. Robot, um, can you go destroy all humans now? No, actually, I actually need you to go just go tinker or something. Alright, go do that. Go have fun. Alright, Bob is sleeping. <sighs> this has been a surprisingly stressful episode, even though all we did was just settle in our new home, you know? I'm, I am excited though about the, the roommates over here because now there's actually stuff going on here too. I'm gonna auto light this room, auto lights this room, and auto light this room. Just the bedrooms, the usual. Because I don't know, I feel like lights running all the time is a bit much. Uh, there we go. And auto light that room. Cool. So is there anyone? Oh, you are here. Samantha's here. Cool. So wait, which room was hers? That one? No, this one. Yeah, nice. And that's gonna be Grimm's room, which we gotta. Figure out how we're gonna do that. I, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Oh yeah. Wait. Hang on. You're not supposed to be in this house. Oh no no she is. Okay no no good. That is her house. Okay. <laughs> Whew. You got the sweet basement ping pong table room. Ah oh, yeah. Sweet. Ah oh, yeah roommates best of friends. Hey what's up? I, I think I think they're actually pretty happy here. I'm I'm gonna be really happy if these Sims actually decide to stay living here. Because I feel like they might get annoyed that they don't- Oh, you're getting zapped. But apparently that just charges you, so that's good. Um, yeah, apparently you guys said sometimes they can get annoyed because they don't have access to stuff. But I'm hoping because I have everything I need over here. And their friends can come into their apartment. Like, other sims besides my household can go in there. I've just locked my own sims out of there just so I don't- My sims don't autonomously go over and use their kitchen because that would be really annoying or use their TV. I want my sims living here and them over there. That's the idea and I think it's going to work. <sighs> Please, <laughs> please. So I guess next on the list of things to do is to get old Grimmy Boy here. And I think we're gonna do that by, like I said, potentially cloning a Sim and then killing that clone. And then getting Grim to come visit. Um, and then we can ask Grim to be a roommate, I think. I don't know that that's true. The word on the street, word on the street has it. But we're gonna leave this part here. The new roommate experience. We are finally a landlord in Brychester. We've got our own apartment. We've got to do a little bit more furnishing here and there. We've got to do some landscaping outside too. It looks a little bland, but uh, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And have an awesome day.